Suppose the old model is as follows in a matrix form. We change the unit of y by a scale of k. For example, y is measured in dollars. If we change y's unit to cents, then k equals 100, because y's values will increase by 100 times. One dollar becomes 100 cents. The new model becomes y tilde equals x times beta tilde plus epsilon tilde. From the construction of the new model, we can immediately see that the new OLS estimator beta tilde equals k times beta hat. That is, the new OLS estimates are k times the old OLS estimates. We can also prove it using the matrix form formula for the new OLS estimator. The second conclusion is that the standard errors of the new OLS estimates also change by the scale k. We know that the standard error is estimated by the square root of the variance of the estimate. Where the variance of the estimate equals the error variance divided by the sample variation of xj and the r squared from regressing xj on all other explanatory variables. The denominator concerns the explanatory variables that remain unchanged. Only the numerator sigma tilde squared changes. It is measured by the sum of square residuals, which is k squared times the O error variance. So the new estimate variance is k squared times the O estimate variance, and therefore the new standard error of the estimate is k times the O one. The third observation is that the confidence intervals will be rescaled by the same proportion of k. Okay.